Now each of us from time to time has gazed upon the sea, and watched the mighty warships pulling out to keep this country free. And most of us have read a book or heard a lusty tale about these men who sailed these ships through lightning, wind, and hail. But there's a place within each ship that legends fail to teach. It's down below the waterline and it takes a living toll, a hot metal living hell that sailors call the hole. It houses engines run with steam that makes the shafts go round, a place of fire, noise, and heat that beats your spirits down. With boilers like a hellish heart with blood of angry steam, our molded gods without remorse are nightmares in a dream, whose threat from fire's roar is like a living doubt that at any moment with such scorn might escape and crush you out. Where turbines scream like tortured souls alone and lost in hell are ordered from above somewhere, they answer every bell. The men who keep the fires lit and make the engines run are strangers to the light and rarely see the sun. They have no time for man or god, no tolerance for fear. Their aspect pays no living thing, a tribute of a tear. For there's not much that men can do that these men haven't done. Beneath the decks, deep in the hole, to make the engines run. And every hour of every day they keep the watch in hell. For if the fires ever fail, their ships a useless shell. When ships converge to have a war upon an angry sea, the men below just grimly smile at what their fate will be. They're locked below like men foredoomed to hear no battle cry. It's well assumed that if they're hit, men below will die. For every day's a war down there, when gauges all read red, 1,200 pounds of heated steam can kill you mighty dead. So if you ever write their songs or try to tell their tale, the very words would make you hear a fired furnace's wail. And people, as a general rule, don't hear of these men of steel. So little heard about this place that sailors call the hole. But I can sing about this place and try to make you see the hardened life of men down there, cause one of them is me. I've seen these sweat-soaked heroes fight in superheated air to keep their ship alive and right, though no one knows they're there. And thus they'll fight for ages on till warships sail no more, amid the boiler's mighty heat and the turbine's hellish roar. So when you see a ship pull out to meet a warlike foe, remember faintly, if you can, the men who sail below.